Yo friends, I hope you're well. I do apologize for not posting as much because I've been pretty preoccupied with with life really. So I've been doing other things and sadly the content creation and posts have just been put to the side. But the new year resolution is to post more videos, okay? So I'm gonna make a commitment to post at least one video a week just to you know share my knowledge to help you guys out to give back and to really really elevate the calisthenics world okay so in this video i'll be teaching you how to unlock the one leg front lever now the requirement for you to be able to do the one leg front lever is to be able to do about 10 seconds of advanced tuck front lever so that's a prerequisite so if you cannot yet do the advanced tuck front lever i would highly recommend you to regress back so keep working on your tuck front lever to really develop your core and your lats for you to be able to do the advanced tuck front lever so once you're able to do the prerequisite, then you can start experimenting with the one leg front lever. But beginners, I've got you. So the very first progression in this video will be a demonstration on how to unlock the advanced tuck front lever. So there'll be five progressions or exercises in total that you can practice literally today to unlock the front lever, okay? And the reps and sets will be demonstrated in the video also. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so to kick things off, we're gonna do max one leg front lever hold. So whenever you learn for a skill, just you wanna try your max just to test out the waters. Now, when you first try it, your hips may sink. So to fix up, you just really engage your glutes, point your toes, and this will fix the alignment, all right? See there, my hips is sunk because I'm not engaging my glutes. So really engage your glutes and you'll be able to hold it straight. Moving on, the next, Exercise is tuck to advance tuck front lever. So this is gonna really work on your core and your lats more by pulling your knees back towards your chest and extending it back. So really try to look forward in front rather than looking vertically up as this will keep your torso alignment parallel to the ground. So try to keep your arms locked out, scapula retracted and just pulse it guys. Just take your time and you'll eventually be able to hold it. Next up is the front lever kicks, okay? So it's just like the bicycle exercise where you're just gonna alternate between kicking one leg out while having the other leg in. So just alternate, really flex your glutes as you extend your legs, point your toes, keeps your arms locked out, and remember to always look forward. Moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna up it a little bit. So you're gonna do a front lever kick and you're gonna try to hold it for two seconds before drawing your knees back in. So I always try to count one elephant two elephant in my head before I draw my knees back in. And this will really condition your lats and your core. All right, so we're moving on to the last progression, which is the front lever negatives. Now we'll be utilizing the eccentric, so lowering down slowly. So we're gonna fight against gravity. And to do this, you're gonna go into a tuck position, extend one leg out while keeping the others in, and then you're gonna lower down slowly. So try to do at a count of minimum of two seconds, but initially you may just drop and that's completely fine. Just keep going and eventually you'll get stronger and the lowering down time will definitely increase. So keep your core tight, scapula retracted, arms locked out and look forward as you lower down. Just rep this out and eventually you'll be able to hold the full one leg front lever. All right, so here it is, the demonstration of the full one leg front lever, okay? So my body is straight, and it's parallel to the ground. So if you work on the previous progressions consistently for at least three times a week with two minutes rest in between sets, you should be able to do it. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you found value in that. So if you do, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button so that you can be notified for future videos like this one. Peace out.